In 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you the top five cap cut video editing tips professionals are using to make viral YouTube videos. Let's dive in. Okay, everyone knows a good video is all about retaining the audience and one of the best ways to do this is to use dynamic and animated titles, text, and graphics in your videos. Ditch those lame graphics that just cut in and then cut out and upgrade to the level of the pros who all use these trendy animations and graphics. The good news, CapCut makes copying these text effects as simple as a few clicks of the mouse. When you head up to the text tab in the top left corner of your screen, right off the bat, you can scroll through all of these pre-made templates. You can see when you hover over them, some of them have preset animations already built into the graphic. With these, it's as simple as dragging them down onto the timeline over your video and then customizing the text. Pro tip though, if you choose one of these pre-made styles, try to stick with the same style and reuse it over and over throughout your video. If you keep switching up the style, it will make the video look pretty cheesy and amateur. And by the way, an easy trick to duplicate a graphic over and over and over again to save time is to hover over the graphic, select it while holding Alt or Option on your keyboard, and then just drag that graphic to a new place on the timeline and you'll have duplicated the graphic. So personally, I stay away from almost all of the pre-made templates and instead I create my own style by using the default text I then customize it to my liking. My favorite font is Resolve, by the way. And then I'll choose my own animation style. Trust me, this is what you wanna do as well if you wanna blend in with the pros. All you need to do is select the new text layer on the timeline. Make sure that you have the text panel selected and then you'd click the animation tab and choose your favorite. Keep in mind, you can animate the in or how the text comes onto the screen. And you can also animate the out, which is how the text animates off screen. Now I've literally gone through every animation available and I'm gonna list off the top ones that are actually clean and perfect professional, so write these down. Oh, and by the way, everything I talk about in this video is all gonna be included in the free CapCut plan. So my favorite animations are Bounce Left, Typewriter, Wave In, Bounce In, Showing Up, Blur Right, Open, Dissolve Down, and then Random Typewriter. You literally can't go wrong going with one of those animations. If you ever wanna change how fast or slow these animations are, just come down to the bottom of the tab where it says duration and change the number to whatever you like. Okay, now to really match the pros, you're also going to wanna combine the graphics with motion backgrounds like the ones you're seeing on screen right now. To do this, you simply import the motion background like any other type of footage. You then drag it onto the timeline and then place your text on top of the motion background. I like to use these to call out big points in my video, not to mention they also help with viewer retention. This way the viewer isn't just stuck watching your face all day long. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you how to get my favorite motion background for free. Okay, tip number two is a super powerful effect CapCut has built right into the app that will take your edits to another level motion tracking. Let's say in your edit, you're holding something up and you want your graphic to stick to that thing. You've probably noticed tons of YouTubers doing this all the time. CapCut actually makes this really easy. Select the text or graphic layer on the timeline, then go to the tracking panel in the top right of your screen. From there, select motion track you'll notice this box appears on the player window. From here, all you need to do is move that box over the object or subject in your screen that you wanna track, and then adjust the size of the box so it fits perfectly. After that, you position the text or graphic layers to wherever you want it to be in relation to that tracked subject. Now, if it's a relatively basic track, I'll actually uncheck distance and scale, and then we hit start. Now you've got a professional motion tracked graphic or text layer. Okay, tip number three is not about graphics and animations. Instead, it's about using the awesome transitions on your B-roll clips. Before I talk about these epic transitions though, if you're finding this content valuable, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post weekly tips, tricks, and gear reviews on this channel. We even host giveaways of really cool gear, and you can only win those if you're already a subscriber. Okay, back to it. Most YouTube videos consist of A-roll, which is the primary talking head content like this, and then B-roll, which is the footage we use to add more more visual depth to our scene. Using transitions on these B-roll clips can really upgrade our content, and CapCut has some incredible built-in transitions that are super easy to use. Let's say I had a travel vlog about road tripping around the United States in a converted school bus, which is actually something I did, by the way. The A-roll could be me narrating the trip, 
with some awesome B-roll playing over the top, showing where I was actually at in the trip. Rather than just cut from one clip to another, we can go up here to the transitions tab and start using our favorites. Now for this sequence, since the videos already have natural motion to them, we can choose a transition that complements the natural motion. Since the clips are moving backwards, I wanna use one of my favorite transitions, which is pull out. All we need to do here is search for that transition, drag it over the junction between the two clips, and boom, we've got a super smooth cinematic transition. Since all these clips have the same motion, I can then just repeat the same transition over and over. But I don't wanna leave you hanging, searching through all of these different transitions just to find the good ones. So let me run you through all of my favorites real quick. We've obviously got the pull out transition, but the opposite of that is the pull in. Sliding Memories is another transition that I think gives you a really unique look. Glare 2 might actually be my most used transition in the platform. I think it's super quick and clean. You can't go wrong with the classic right and left transitions. I love these for transitioning to full screen motion backgrounds. Glitch is another popular trend that a lot of people are using. And then finally, I think Eraser is kind of fun as well. Okay, up next, tip number four is all about knowing the best effects to use on your footage. Now, this is really important. Effects are regularly overused like crazy by beginners, and it ends up killing the final look of the video. But a carefully chosen effect with a purpose can really push the edit to places it otherwise never could have gotten to. And get that pencil out because I'm gonna tell you all of the good ones that are free. To find and use any of these effects, just head up to the effects tab, which is right next to transitions where we were a moment ago. From there, just search for any of the names that we're about to talk about and simply drag and drop that individual effect onto one single clip on your timeline. Up first, we've got an effect called Leak One. This is something you'll see all of the time in YouTube videos, travel videos, weddings, all that kind of stuff. It adds a really subtle light leak to the video, giving it this sense of cinematic nostalgia. You can combine this with another cool effect called Edge Glow. And now you've created the perfect like memory flashback style effect. Oh, and by the way, if you ever wanna adjust any of these effects that you're using on a clip, just select the clip on the timeline, head up to the video tab, and under the basic sub tab, you'll see a drop down for effects. Here you can remove certain effects or even go into the effect settings and adjust some of the parameters. Okay, after this, we've got a staple in the video production world, the zoom lens effect. Once you start paying attention to videos and even movies you see, you'll notice how often there is this slight zoom in effect going on. And with this simple drag and drop effect, you can get the same look. I just make sure to adjust the range and speed down significantly so it's a subtle zoom and nothing too aggressive. After that, we've got the chromatic effect. Great for those hype style edits where you really wanna give a high energy feel to the video. This is another good one to actually combine with the previous effect we mentioned, the zoom lens. All right, then last but certainly not least, tip number five is all about color grading and specifically using LUTs in your workflow. Color grading is something all pro editors do to elevate the look of their footage. In CapCut, once you've selected a clip, you can come up to the adjustment panel and underneath that you'll see four sub tabs. Up first you have basic color correction, then you have HSL, which stands for hue, saturation, and luminance. Then you have the curve editor sub tab. And then finally, you have the color wheel sub tab. If you wanna go crazy in depth with your color grading, you can click up here in the top right of the player window and turn on the color oscilloscope. This will add three advanced views of the actual color and light data within your scene to the player window. Now that's all really advanced, but I wanted you to be aware of what you have access to in CapCut. Generally speaking, most people just stick with the basic tab where they can easily adjust the brightness, the color temperature, and the saturation of the colors. But if you wanna make life even easier, you can simply use a LUT, which is a fancy term for a color grading preset. This is what my footage looks like straight out of camera. And this is what it looks like with the click of a button by applying a LUT. To upload your own custom LUT to CapCut, you come up to the adjustment panel in the top left of your screen, select LUT, and then hit the import button. Now you might be thinking, well, Anthony, how do I find good LUTs online? And I have good news for you because I'm actually gonna give you a few of my favorite LUTs for free. But first, let me tell you about our 14 day filmmaker course bundle. In case you didn't know, this channel is one small part of our larger business contentcreator.com where we host the largest online course platform for content creators on planet earth with over 100,000 active students in our community learning how to become professional content creators. Our primary course is now actually a bundle of courses because we've added so much to it over the years. It's called the 14 day filmmaker bundle and it's made up of three insanely valuable courses. The first 
First is 14 Day Smartphone Filmmaker, which teaches you how to turn the camera you always have in your pocket into a cinematic powerhouse. You'll learn the best settings to use, the best free apps for shooting and editing content, how to light scenes like a pro, record high quality audio, capture cinematic movements, and tons of training on professional editing, like step-by-step -step walkthroughs of all the important types of videos. And that's just scratching the surface. The next course, 14 Day YouTuber, is a start to finish masterclass that covers everything you need to know to launch and grow a successful YouTube channel in under 14 days. And finally, you get 14 Day Pro Camera Filmmaker, which dives deep into mastering the professional gear and strategies the pros use to create cinematic masterpieces. You also get access to our private students community where I personally host a weekly live Q&A call. Lifetime access to all of that and a ton more is only $48. If you wanna join our Epic course and community, there is a link in the description below. Okay, back to it. If you're thinking, shut up, Anthony, just give me all the free stuff, I totally understand. I've put together a small pack containing a few of my favorite LUTs in my number one favorite motion background, this crumpled paper animation, and you can get it all for free. The link to get that for free is also in the description right underneath the link for 14 Day Filmmaker. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Now that you know how to edit like a pro, it's time to learn how to shoot the perfect YouTube video. And this video right here will show you how to do exactly that. I'll see you there.